can actually measure it in your body for 30 days, which means it's impacting your mind for 30 days. Hmm. Does smoking marijuana affect your mind for 30 days? TikTok's brain doctor said it, so it must be true, right? He says that THC, the active component in marijuana, is stored in fat, and that's true. And he says that it's released from fat over 30 days and can affect your mind during that time. So let's see about that. Here we have the blood plasma levels of THC over time in people who smoked one marijuana cigarette. You can see that THC levels spike within about 10 minutes of smoking and return to near zero in about an hour or so. And you may be thinking, wait a minute, when I've smoked marijuana, I've definitely felt high for longer than an hour. That's because after you smoke, THC gets converted in the body into other forms called metabolites, and those stick around for various amounts of time. THC first becomes this metabolite, which is also psychoactive, meaning it affects your mind or gets you high. And that metabolite remains in the blood for about four hours, which explains why the high is longer than one hour. But what Dr. Amen is talking about is this metabolite, which remains detectable in the blood for up to 90 hours. This paper shows that in urine, that metabolite is detectable for about 22 days, which must be where he's getting his information. But here's the thing. That number, 22 days, is for frequent marijuana smokers. But in infrequent users, which is what he's talking about, it's no longer detectable after about 5 days. And much more importantly, this metabolite is not psychoactive, meaning it does not affect the mind as he suggests. Otherwise, infrequent marijuana smokers might still be high five days after smoking, and obviously that doesn't happen. Now, I'm not advocating for or against marijuana use, but I am advocating for the spread of truthful and accurate information by professionals. Maybe it's just me, but I'm kind of thinking that TikTok might need a new brain doctor.